Hello, hello, and welcome once again, J76NY here, playing Grand Tactician the Civil War, our Confederate playthrough. Uh, if you saw the last episode, um, we had a pretty decisive victory against uh, George McClellan at the Battle of Lewisburg. We defeated the Department of the Ohio and uh, sent them running. Uh, that was a video I recorded direct to YouTube, so if you want to catch the uh, full timeline, head over to the YouTube channel. J76NY is the same name over there. Um, there's a link somewhere here on Twitch. Hit the subscribe, and uh, you can follow along. Uh, going forward now, my plans are to pursue General McClellan with the Army of the Northwest under Major General George Porterfield. Um, he's in pretty good condition. He's got 96% supplies. Uh, and he is ready to go. So I'm going to pursue General McClellan over here. Up here we have a bit of a different story. We've got Right now, the Army of the Shenandoah participating in a siege of Alexandria. Uh, we've got Pickett in the Army of Northern Virginia, whose readiness is getting better, but still not quite ready for battle. Also coming up, we've got the Army of North Carolina. But they are facing four armies, the Army of Northeastern Virginia, with 11,000 men, the Army of the Potomac with 26,000 men, the Department of Pennsylvania with 9,000 men, and the Army of the Shenandoah with 18,595 men. So they are pretty screwed right now. We've also got some bl blockades we have to deal with. I've got the North Carolina squadron kind of hanging out here waiting for uh, the other fleet to arrive, I'm going to merge them and then see what I can do about lifting those sieges. I, I did turn the volume down a little bit. I noticed that during battles and then after the battle, the volume was kind of blasting, so hopefully that helps out a little bit. Um, up here... We've got several understrength forces. We've got the Missouri State Guard with 3,000 men. And they are in close proximity to the Department of the West with 26,000 men, so not a good position for them to be in. We've got the Florida State Militia down here with 1,810 men. Up in Kentucky, we started our push into Kentucky here. Or Indiana. Nope. Hang on. Yeah, Kentucky. That was right the first time. We got Tattnall Squadron on the river. We've got the Army of the Tennessee and the Western Army. 7,000 men here. And 5,825 men here. They have run into the Army of Indiana which has 22,000 men, so they are not in a position to take them on just yet. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is merging all three of these into one army. They'll still be under strength, but if they decide to come out against us, we might have somewhat of a better chance. Uh, our credit rating is double A, so that's decent. And our policies right now, we are researching the Militia Act 2, which has 1.9 days, so that's almost done. Uh, going forward, I'm thinking possibly because we need to um, keep our credit rating up, the financial way might be next. Also, industrialization because uh, we need better weapons which we could also get through diplomacy, but I might hit industrialization first. Uh, one thing I want to do, something I noticed in the uh, last episode, 
actually, unfortunately, right during the battle was I want to see what I can do about upgrading my weapons that my troops have here. Right now, they don't have uh, very good uh, weapons. McGruder's Division with Smith. He's got mixed cavalry weapons. Let's see what we can do about upgrading them. Uh, Springfield Musketoons seems to be the only thing that we have available, and they're listed as being obsolete. 250 yard range, uh, 200 yard range, three rounds a minute. Two point four, five rounds a minute. So it wouldn't be much of a upgrade for that. Uh, Kirby Smith was wounded in action, so you may want to uh, replace him with someone. How many men does he have? 1,200. And let's see, renowned, passive, liked, foreseeable. So he doesn't seem like a very good choice. Nathan Evans. He's insignificant, cautious, and inspiring. He's a professional cavalry officer. So we could probably go with him. Yep, we'll assign him. Alright, let's look at our infantry, see what we can... Uh, Mixed muskets, that's not good. We got Springfield muskets listed as being obsolete. 250 pounds, 3 yards, 2.5 rounds a minute. We've got reborn muskets. So far we don't have a whole lot in terms of... Uh, weapons maybe we won't be able to do anything with these guys stated price depends on production Let's see You know what, we're going to hold off on that for now. Take a look at the Army of North Carolina. What we can add. Uh, we are kind of lacking in. Uh, no, we got a few. We could. Uh, get some more infantry in on this. What do these guys have for guns, weapons? I mean, uh, only one battalion of artillery. So I might want to go with artillery. Add another uh, battalion of artillery. And we could probably do that... Do 
what we can get out of Virginia. I think we're just shy 180, 240, so we get 180. What can we do for them as far as upgrading them goes? 12 pound field guns. Everything we have is listed as being obsolete. That's not cool. Uh, 1,600 yards, 2.8 rounds a minute. 1,500, 3 rounds a minute. All right, so how long do they have before they get there? 12 days and 25 days. Alright, let's get this going here. They're awaiting orders. Have them take an offensive stance. They already are. Alright, so let's have them come down here and engage. The order is on the way. Let's hit play and see what we can do. I'm going to make sure the uh, Army of Indiana isn't coming down on us. Get Tatnall's squadron. He's heading up there. them up and we're gonna pull the Florida State Militia and move them up as well okay over here what's going on some to them. This problem is going to take so long for them to get there. But we do have to deal with the... Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. So indecisive. Hey Hoffman, how you doing? See how this is going here. Speed it up a little bit. They're retreating away from us. Right to the Army of the Potomac. They're going to retreat right through us, it looks. I'm not doing too bad. It's early morning. Not 7 o'clock yet, so... Yeah, it looks like they went right through us. Alright. No action against slavery. Bill passes almost soon as me. Okay. Get rid of that. want to do uh, the Confederacy calls for volunteers two-year contracts all right so our policy has passed this isn't exactly going uh, the way I thought it would I wanted to pursue a glorious victory at Alexandria 
army of northeastern Virginia fleeing in panic. So we won, uh, apparently won the siege of Alexandria that I had no part of. It just sort of happened. The Battle of Alexandria has ended with the army of northeastern Virginia retreating in panic. My command has earned us a total victory. Joseph E. Johnson to the president. All right, let's pause for a second and pick our, oops, pause. All right, time to pick our next policy here. What would you recommend, Hoffman? 30 days for industrialization too. We really need uh, really need better weapons. Militia Act. We've already got that. Militia Act 3. 35 days lengthening the contract of new volunteer units to 36 months or the end of the war. Meaning if the war ends the contract will be nullified. We have here military two. Uh, further re reforms the army, allowing creation of larger armies with an independently operating core organization. That might not be bad to have. I've been looking for a way to uh, put my cavalry in one core or one under one commander without it being a complete mess. Um, honestly, I think probably the course I'm going to go right now is industrialization 2 because we need better weapons. Oh, here we go. Army of Northeastern Virginia with 8,000 men. <laughs> it's not who I wanted to fight, but we've got the Army of the Northwest and the Army of Northern Virginia with 22,000 13 men. How long? And it has low morale. Does it say one hour? So we'll have our full force in an hour. All right, let's get into this battle. Unfortunately, we're going to be starting with a uh, low morale. But the Army of the Northwest is in good condition, so we can hope for the best. Harper's Ferry, Virginia. We field 9,000 men under Major General McDowell. Uh, oh, that, that's them. Wow. Good morning. So we outnumber them almost three to one. All right, let's deploy. We are on the attack. Scouts report the enemy is near Harper's Ferry, Virginia, and our army is preparing for battle. Uh, let's see. Green and the morale is reported to be stable. The state of our army is outstanding, and that was really loud. Apparently it's raining. Okay. Sunken Road. Town and Prize Road. So they're all right in this area here. We are determined. All right. Let's deploy. Could be coming from over here, over here, over here, over here, and we are down here. Okay, so, not letting me zoom in. We're out. It's not letting me do anything. Oh, wait. 
Let's take this off. There we go. Shepherds, Mountain Pike. Alright, so I'm gonna deploy on either side of the Shepherd Town Shepherdstown Pike and send one army up this way and one down through here. Uh and then see where we can uh to see where we can find them. Okay. Oh. Still having kind of issues with the uh the map rotations drives me absolutely nuts guess I could use the hotkeys instead of the mouse Sibley's division and the Army of the Northwest. Let's press play and see what happens. Okay. I my cavalry to uh, do some speed in here. here. And we're going to have you come up towards the sunken road. See what you can find. Now you guys, with the exception of you. Oh, we'll let the cavalry scout out a little bit and see what they can find. seen anything at all. It's gonna take a while for him to get his orders. I gotta separate them into their own group. She can come across the bridge. start moving the rest of my units up. I really 
really want to move them too far though before I know where anyone is. Set to long range. What do we have here? Evans in contact. He is. Oh, there they are up there. So Evans. I want you to fall back. He already just broke. Yeah, he broke. <laughs> Whoop. Well, so much for him. Okay, so we know where they are now. They are north of the town. Um, have you guys come up here with this? And Sibley. I'll have you come over here like this. Let's see where can we cross? Send him up here and take this. It's not the best way to go, but... Speed things up a little bit. There goes Evans. It's taken a while for those orders to uh, get out there. My guys are just sort of going whichever way they want. These guys aren't even moving yet. There we go. Guys just ran right past Sunken Road. We'll go for the other one. How with it? Porterstown. Why not? Let everyone get into position. Hopefully the guns don't take too long. Let's see, did we take this yet? Just very close to being taken. Right, looks like these guys are in position. 
ever so slowly. McClaw's division of one brigade. Okay. I understand why they're going up there and then sunken road is taken. Oh, we took it. Nice. position here. They are taking fire though, so okay, let's pause. Anyone knows how to turn that volume down, which I've tried doing, feel free to let me know because it's really loud. Disappear. Did they run away? And where would my commander be? There we go. You gotta be up here somewhere. Start the attack. All right, pause. Or slow down. Everyone advancing. Another 
artillery disappear too. I don't know they were way up there. Hell. <coughs> like our two artillery they're already broken oops I should have managed this a lot better Got it listed as being used the high ground. Use high ground. Use cover. this artillery a little further out than what I'd really wanted to see. my uh
both artillery battalions routed because I wasn't paying attention. So we've got limited artillery here. They're still marching. They're still marching. We are starting to push them back. they wouldn't uh, hold on to their defensive positions here. So let's push up. guys are still back here doing nothing. Move you up. Put commander up as well. routing right into us. See what we can do. Or if we can charge them. Decided not to charge him. Right over here. Cold steel. Give him the cold steel. Oh, he got perks now? Nice. Give him the cold steel. I should probably pay attention to this here. Let's see. We'll do that after the battle. Alright, where did that?
they look like they're in fairly good cover, but we've got... I think we can actually charge them. I think we're charging them. Uh, let's see. Bring you out over here. The advance order. Charge. We gotta get Jones up in the action here. Have him come down here. I'm going to bring my Artie down here. guys here are, really are holding on. These guys haven't received their order yet. Let's bump up the speed a little bit. Reading. We've got an hour. Pursue. Which I will do, gladly. Want to charge. Give him the cold steel. these guys out. Stop them. Thanks. Let's get our artillery firing on some of these units here. Alright, they don't have 
line of sight, so they're not going to do much good. This advance that you that I don't think really did much. Bring you up with an order to advance cavalry. Really want them to charge cold steel. You. <laughs> Okay, advance. So do we leave anyone behind? Yep. These guys are still slowly moving into the original position I sent them at. Artillery and fire on them now as they retreat. They can fire on them. Have you hit this artillery? Cavalry is not doing too good. advance everybody up. Only got 12 minutes, but maybe we can get some shots off. Right. Let's move our commanders up. this guy doing. There we go. Minor Confederate victory. Battle of Harper's Ferry. We, looks like we retook Harper's Ferry. I guess that's a little quieter than what it was. The Army of Northeastern Virginia, out of 25,000 men, we had 2,116 total casualties. Out of 10,000, they had about the same, so... There's that. All right, that's going to do it for today's episode of the Confederate playthrough of Grand Tactician the Civil War. Uh, kind of a one-sided battle there. If you notice, I made a couple cuts there. It was just basically uh, Porterfield and uh, Pickett chasing McClellan around. And then we got into the Battle of Harper's Ferry, which turned out very well, even though it was uh, kind of a one-sided thing there. Anyway, if you like the episode, go ahead and hit that like button. That'll help my channel out a little bit. If you'd like to follow along with the rest of the series and you are not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can come along with us and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I enjoy hearing from my viewers, especially if they leave handy tips. So there's that. Until next time, J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have a very good day.